So what are research integrity and research security? Um, they are separate, they have different definitions, but they are closely linked. Research integrity is about ensuring the rigor of scientific practice, um, making sure that science is ethically appropriate and well conducted. Research security is about ensuring that the outputs of science are not misused or misappropriated. And in particular, there are concerns about foreign interference in research and misappropriation by foreign actors, state or non-state actors. Um, the important thing is that the two issues come together. They're closely interrelated. If you strengthen research integrity, you will strengthen research security. And if you strengthen research security, you'll strengthen integrity. So why does this matter? There is actually a lot of concern across countries, growing concern about foreign interference in research. Um, and this in turn affects public trust in science. At the same time, from a science perspective, international collaboration is seen as fundamental to scientific progress. Um, we see that, for example, in relation to COVID-19, where the development of vaccines was critically development at the early stages on international cooperation. And if there's over-regulation in relation to research security, there's a real risk that this will block international cooperation. Similarly, there is a concern about academic freedom or freedom of inquiry, which is the right of scientists to, to follow all different areas of scientific inquiry. That again is fundamental to the way science operates and it's important that science remains sort of autonomous from, from government control or to some extent. Um, and again, over-regulation is a potential threat to that autonomy and, and freedom of inquiry. What have we found? Uh, what are in the work that we have done, what have we come up with? So I think the first thing is that this is a universal concern. So all countries um, are concerned in different ways about different issues related to research security. It is not necessarily a concern that is expressed by the academic community, um, but certainly across different government sectors it is expressed. And one of the critical issues is that actually different government sectors, different actors within science, whether they be academies, universities, individuals, all need to work together and reach a common understanding about what really are the concerns um, in terms of security itself and in terms of what might be done to address security and the, if you like the knock-on effects of regulations. The second thing is that um, coming back to this what we talked about in terms of integrity and security it's important that um, frameworks for dealing with research integrity really explicitly incorporate research security. Um, that has not been the case up until now, but there are mechanisms in place um, for research integrity and research security without adding a lot of extra bureaucratic load could easily be incorporated into those mechanisms at a national level, at an institutional level, etc. And then the third um, recommendation that I would emphasize is the need to really take a, a proportionate risk management approach to research security. So identifying particular areas or particular countries and blocking all activities in those areas or with those countries um, certainly is not a productive way to, to go forward. There needs to be an identification of risks which are specific to different institutions, to different countries, to different contexts. And those risks then need to be assessed, managed, reassessed and, and the relevant appropriate mechanisms for managing them put in place.